Looks like it should be a good party. Free burgers, free margaritas, free beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So it's about to begin. We uh, we got a few days left here uh, at in the Bahamas before we start heading back to Florida. Uh, and one of the reasons we stayed a little bit longer was so we could. Well, first of all, I have my buddy Kelly here, and then uh, we wanted to stay to check out this big party called Cheeseburger in Paradise. So uh, we are anchored out off a of fiddle key, and we are just kind of gearing up to get moving and to head over to the big party. So I'm bringing the drone, we're gonna get some drone footage. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna head over and try to have some fun. It looks like there's a lot of people here already and it looks like it should be a good party. Free burgers, free margaritas, free beer. I mean, how, I mean, how could you go wrong? We're gearing up, Jesse just came over and uh, that's it. We're uh, gonna load up and head over to the party. Come along. Ready? Yeah, it's gonna be an experience. All the boats are out. Lots of boats. And that's where we're going. What are you doing, Krista? Packing the bags. Yeah? What are we bringing? Water. Yeah? Squeezy stuff. And of course, vodka. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta have that. Yes. Ready? How you doing, buddy? Great, we made it. Cheers. <laughs> so, we got here and it's quite, quite a party. A lot of boats, a lot of people tied up. That's fun. I think it's gonna be a good time. The event was started about 25 years ago by Bob and Patricia Henderson, and it was originally called the Stranded Naked Cheeseburger Party. But then they got tired of handling the event and decided to hand it off to the Green Turtle Foundation to organize, and it was renamed at that point the Cheeseburger in Paradise Party. It's one of the largest events all year in the entire Abacos, and everything is free, including beer, margaritas, burgers, and hot dogs. Everything is donated by sponsors, and from what we understand, raises between seventy dollars to $100,000 a year for the Green Turtle community. so far that's my favorite thing so far that's amazing
We are about to start uh, our journey back to the mainland. And before we go, we did our last provisioning run. Our seventh last provisioning run, as Chris likes to say. We've been back to Green Turtle like three times. So we're uh, just about to weigh anchor and head and check out the pigs at uh, No Name Key. And then we're just going to do that for an hour and check them out. We haven't seen any pigs, and not a big deal to me, but uh, Chris wanted to see them. So we're going to head there quick and then heading back and maybe try to end up at Powell and then Allen's Pensacola and then back towards West End. So we have another four days or three or four days uh, underway, but we're just getting started. So about to weigh anchor and go see some pigs. Ready to see some pigs? With hurricane season in effect, it was finally time to conclude our first season of cruising and start our trek back to Florida. We spent the next few days leisurely cruising north, stopping at a few islands we hadn't visited yet, and passing the time hanging out with our buddy boat, eating and playing games, until we encountered a pretty serious issue with the boat. And we sprung a leak. So our seacock, one of the seacocks in the bathroom is failing, and it's not in an area that I can switch off and on. So, uh... We are trying to figure out how to seal this thing again, because um, if we spring a big leak like that, I'm, I'm not sure how to how to plug it. Maybe a, a maybe a wood plug would work, but um, it's going to take some attention. So actually, our friend Jesse is going to re-anchor, and he was almost heading out, and I just caught him. So uh, yeah, let's take a look here. There it is. That's the culprit right here. So this is on the off position now. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, that's a bit of a problem. It cracked, the whole thing cracked. We gotta figure out how to seal this thing. I mean, I suppose we could try to plug the, the, 
the through hole from the outside, that might be the temporary fix. But we'll see what happens. Well, Jesse's going to be over here in a second. Failed through holes are one of the few things that can actually sink a sailboat. Every boat uses water from the sea to operate certain systems, like cooling your diesel engine or flushing a toilet. Each hole is fitted with a valve called a seacock that actually cut off the flow of water. The issue with this was that the fitting between the hull and the valve had cracked, so even shutting off the valve wouldn't actually solve the problem. Best bet's going to be wrap the shit out of it with something real tight. What about um, putting a putting a plug in the... Uh, um, from the outside? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Yeah, we can get this much, much better just by wrapping it. But you I brought some real tape too. This stuff is super good. Oh, yeah. It's, what? It's real sticky. And it stays soft so it doesn't harden and shrink. You can try shoving it in there. Well, it looks like we'll be going to the bathroom in a bucket. In normal circumstances, you definitely need to haul your boat out to replace the entire unit or through a hull, which means replacing the fitting that actually goes through the hull of the vessel. Since we couldn't do that, we had to create a temporary fix to get us back to Florida. As Jesse worked on taping the crack, I went overboard to see if I could possibly stuff something in the through hole from the outside to also help stem the flow, free flow of water coming in. It's a so we don't have an easy fix. When is anything ever on a boat ever easy? All right, so in conclusion, we shoved a took a rag, wrapped it in electrical tape, shoved that on the, in there, and then, and I think, and then Jesse was able to seal it with some butyl tape inside pretty well. So I think between the two, um, we can, we got pretty much 90, 90%, 99% of the leaking stopped. At least it's one drip every three seconds, so, uh, three or four seconds. So that's, I think, a good enough to get underway. The thing was we got some looks like some heavy weather coming the next two days so and we're in an unprotected anchorage here so if anything happens here while well, there's weather we won't be able to work on it but if we go down we're going to go down to allen's pensacola and at allen's we'll be in a fairly protected a very protected anchorage so if there's any issues at least we'll be able to deal with it um, probably even though there's some weather here if the wet if the waves pick up we'll, it'll be a nightmare and there uh, we won't be dealing with big waves. It's all really well protected. So we're gonna get underway and uh, Go from there Coming up next time on sailing on a whim we make the last leg of our journey through the Bahamas while running into some storms, and we do get to do a little bit of last minute exploring of that abandoned development, Jin Sir Mur. A huge thank you for watching and to all our patrons. If you'd like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron by following a link in the description of this video. See you next time. Say that again, what you just, what you just told Krisha. One of the best Kongs in my life. James from Zingaro he told me to get a lot of butyl tape. I didn't have any butyl tape. <laughs> <laughs>